after months of hard work, my home theater slash man cave slash video game office, whatever you want to call it, is 90% completed. Let's go look around and see what makes this thing tick. So first we do ascend these stairs, open this door, and voila, bam! Greeted with a screen right in front of you. I'm gonna take a quick tour. Got the window open. Get some light, it's a blackout curtain. But first things first, let's just start with this. This little couch, recliner, love seat deal. They both recline, got little cup holders in the middle, little center console. Let's see, the center console has my controllers for everything. One thing I need to do is get a universal remote, program it all, get rid of all this. But I like having a center console just to store them so you don't lose them, you know? Have your drinks and your popcorn right there. Got a nice little blue rug. Uh, midnight blue on the walls. Okay, this is what I mean by 90% complete. This wall here, got a little cinema sign, enjoy the cinema or enjoy the show. And a 10 Joker sign. I'm gonna fill this wall with more signs. Pretty much all around it. And you know, just different movie posters that I like. I'm gonna print out some small movie posters and frame them. Cause I, I mean, I don't have enough room for big ones. I can't find anywhere online, so I'm gonna create them myself, Photoshop, and just print them out. All right. And when you walk in to your to my right is my arcade wall with all my custom built arcades, my big two player stand up arcade. I'm gonna make a separate video on all this, showing all of them up and running, the operating systems, which I've used Retro Pi and Raspberry Pi 3s. But this is, in this video, it's just for my home theater. But So here's my back right speaker. Here's my back left speaker. And I'm gonna get into this equipment rack in a second. I've just got them mounted a little overhead high. And I bought some mounts off of Amazon. A lot of products in this video were purchased through Amazon. Well, this couch, local, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and talk about pricing and everything as well. This couch was $700 at Kimbrell's. It's a local furniture store. I'm not sure if it's everywhere or not, but it's around here. Pretty good deal. Not the best. Definitely not too cheap either. It feels really good to me. And let's see. I got this chair here. It's just for extra seating. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't have a lot of room in here to put it. But I do like it. It's very comfortable. I guess somebody wants to sit it right here. They can. And these tower speakers are the Polk Audio T50s. The bookcase speakers are the T15. And the center speaker right here is a T30. Polk Audio tower speakers. You see that? They sound pretty good. I enjoy them. And the screen, let's back up and take another look at the whole screen. This is a silver ticket, 110 inch screen. You buy it, you put it together, you mount it on the wall. I mounted it level, of course, right? You know, <laughs> you want it level. And then there's a center speaker. Only thing I need to do here is build another little stand higher because there's a cable right there coming through the wall for the speaker which is 16 gauge speaker wire if you're wondering you know I'm no audio holic so maybe I should have used a different one I don't really know but from my research for the distance that I had to run that was about the recommended speaker size this center speaker right here is hundred dollars it was I like it a lot I really do I just need to make that stand just a tad bit higher probably about you know two inches higher to hold to hide that wire I might do that today that's the only thing that bugs me about this room here and you know got the other your front left and then I got a subwoofer over here for me this was the best spot to put it and then I got the cable running behind my computer my computer desk like this is not a dedicated theater room that's why I have my arcade on one wall it's more like a man cave up here with a with a kick-ass theater you know, I'm gonna do a whole desk setup and all my video game stuff. A 
along with the RK wall over there soon. Detailing every little thing, my raspberry pies and all that good stuff. But here's another little wall that I built, a little niche I built for the equipment rack. It's really nice. I was gonna put it in this corner right here with this little small rack in the corner. But then I realized that's gonna be a lot of wires and stuff. So I just built this niche. That way everything's wired into it and it's wired in the back. So it's a lot easier to hide wires. For example, got my ethernet cables going into this wall plate here. Ethernet cables going to my computer. I tape them down to the window sill so when I get the blackout curtain down, you can't see it and it looks really good. Um, back to the niche, I'm all over the place. But I just got a lot of things going through my head and I want to get it all done. And my receiver, I guess this is one of the biggest things in your whole home theater, except for the projector. This is an Ankyo. Not sure what model number it is. Let's take a look. It is TXNR656. I got it on sale at Best Buy. It was an open box for 200. I think it was originally 400 at the time. So 200 bucks. I was gonna go with the Denon, but hey, this was on sale for 200 bucks. So I went ahead and snagged it way earlier. Then I've got my modem, my Nighthawk router, my Nvidia Shield. I use the Nvidia Shield for pretty much everything: Terrarium TV, Netflix, Cody build, whatever. But then got my cable box for sports. You know, I watch, I watch a lot of football, a lot of UFC, that's about it. And on the bottom, I've got an Xbox 360. It's not hooked up, but I can't hook it up. I just I just got it right there. I guess I ever want to play Xbox 360 on my projector, but I think the screen's a little bit too big for gaming, even though it is a gaming projector I'm about to show you. And that's my niche I built. It's not perfect, but hey, it's pretty good for somebody who's never done that kind of stuff before. Built the box. You know, did a little bit of framing right there. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, on to the start of the show. There's some reviews, and this is the BenQ projector. It's a gaming, it's a 1080p gaming projector. It is the 2150 short throw. Went ahead and got a short throw because I am pretty close, and it's just good for the money. BenQ, there it is. I really like the BenQ. I had problems with the HDMI port. It was kind of loose. This one right here is really loose. The only thing I don't like about this projector, well, it could just be a manufacturing on this particular projector. And then I bought the BenQ mount. I had two other cheap ones. But the way this wall is, you see how it's flush right here, then it angles up, then it flattens out. The projector's out. The way I had to mount the screen lower, on the wall because of, of this angle here I couldn't I had to buy a projector that you know extended some more so I had to go with the uh, with the actual BenQ one because I tried a couple cheaper ones and it didn't work too well and then I got the HDMI one HDMI cable ran over to the up in the ceiling attic over here to the receiver of course and all my equipment into the receiver as you already know um, I wired the, I put an outlet right there, up in the attic, and I put another little conjunction box just to run that one HDMI cable from through there. And that tidies it all up, looks pretty good if you ask me. And now I'm gonna turn it on. First thing I do is I hit my receiver. If I, had, I need my universal remote, it's gonna come in real good handy. And I'm gonna change it to PC because that's what I have my NVIDIA Shield plugged up. All right, so it's on there. Grab my projector remote here. Go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna show you some daytime footage real quick of the NVIDIA Shield. That way you can kind of see what it's like in the daytime. And then I'll show you some nighttime footage. It is raining cats and dogs out here today. See that? I don't know if you can tell. It's raining sideways. I was gonna cut my grass, but thank you. Thank you, rain. <laughs> Alright, let me put this curtain down. Okay. So cut this out. <laughs> like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of daytime. Right. Cutting this part out. Alright, cut the light off. 
Okay, so the quality is great even in low light conditions, but I like to watch my movies in complete pitch darkness. So and it works awesome, it looks fantastic. And I didn't really even set it up perfectly. So I'm sure there's some things I can do to make it even better. Let's actually open up a YouTube video real quick. I don't wanna. That way the quality, the audio quality of the Polk speakers can be tested. You're not gonna get a good true sound, you know, of course they're here, but I like this song a lot, so we're gonna fast forward. It's gonna fall apart to the bass. I said fall apart. We're gonna fast forward to the bass. There it is. That's a low actually. Gonna have to edit this. There we go. Yes. Oh yeah. Good quality. 